Hi, this is James from Burton Waters Boat Sales down here in Ipswich. Uh, about to take you aboard uh, the Sigma 33 that we have listed for sale. She's a 1988 boat and she has a Volvo Penta 18 horsepower engine to assist you obviously on your passage and obviously off your moorings as well. It's an inboard diesel engine. This is the OOD version, um, which was the, they did a cruiser and then they did the OOD, which is just a bit more uh, sportier feel when you are sailing her, you get a bit more performance from the, from the boat itself. Obviously she is a boat of her age, but a well-known boat, good following for the Sigma. Um, has a nice line on her as well, um, which you can see from the uh, pictures that are online that we have. Um, so in good deck, good working deck space as well. Um, she's obviously got all your bits and pieces in terms of sailwear um, with the main and such like. Um, what we'll do is we'll step aboard and let's see what she has to offer in terms of cockpit and such like. So, on here it's a tiller steer built, uh, boat. Um, you've got uh, your main just across here, which is kind of handy. It's right where it needs to be, uh, and was very common at this time. You've also got space down under there for uh, putting a life raft if you're going to do some more sort of offshore sailing with her. Uh, and then you've also got uh, really good compartment space just here, uh, which is, gives good, at, good storage space and so forth. Um, there is a gas locker just here as well. You've got everything up on here. It's coming back to, back to, back to the cockpit itself, um, which is really good to see. And then you've got your dials, which are across the top here. You've got your uh, speed log, depth log, wind direction indicator, all on there. Nice and easy to see when you are helming the boat. It's also got a clamp up there for a, a Garmin uh, chart plotter as well. Nice thing with these is your compass is on uh, both sides. So we have one on both sides of the boat, the other one's just under the cover there. We'll just slip that back on, keep it out of the protected. And then let's go down below and have a look what she offers for accommodation space. So, obviously it's tricky for my cameraman to get down the stairs here but uh, people have said they like it when they can see us in the video itself. So up here we've got the galley. Now at the moment the owner's got a dehumidifier on here and I'll just lift it up so you can see the, so you've got your sink there. Obviously he's got it draining straight out of the boat. Nice to see that they've done that. It's a good thing in the winter to be protecting the boat. And then under here you've got your twin gas burner hob. It's also got a grill and a gas oven as well. Just put that board back on here, plenty of storage. There's also the fridge, top loading fridge just there as well. And then as you go round, you've then got the helm station, got good access to your isolator as well. It's got an updated VHF, Garmin chart plotter, and then you've got quite a nice bit of accommodation just down, down there as well. Good sleeping area. Nice saloon area, pretty light in here. Uh, the linings for her age don't look too bad. Um, obviously you've all got to remember the age of the boat. Good points to hold on when you are at sea, uh, heeled over and going up and backwards and forwards with your bits and pieces. Another sort of sleeping berth just here, um, which obviously you can have a bunch of nets come up, stop you falling out of the boat. Nice big table, this table here will open up. It's obviously got some, oh, it's got hooks on it and it opens up, gives you a really good uh, space there for dining and entertaining. You can obviously fold this one down as well. Uh, the Genoa bags just under there I can see and then as you go through to the uh, through here you get the heads which has got two doors which is nice because it means you can obviously shut it off when you're using it so if there's several people on the boat and then it takes you straight through to the forward traditional V berth on the boat as you would expect to see. So overall uh, it's a nice boat really good fun boats to sail the yard. Um, they really are good uh, on the water, give a good feel when you're sailing them. You've also got these big cupboards here, there's another one just over there as well. Um, and obviously there's lift up on the chart table, so you can put all your charts and everything down below. And as well as drawers, bits and pieces all down here. Um, she's, quite a, she's quite a 
dry boat. If you look down, there's the uh, keel bolts. As you can see, they're looking uh, good. Um, so it has got to be said, it's a nice sort of dry boat, but it's uh, got plenty of space, good access to the engine as well. Um, and obviously you've still got your compasses, which are then showing down here as well. Video's just here just to give you an idea of the overall look of the boat instead of just looking at pictures. Uh, and also just to give you a feel for what sort of space it has to offer on the boat as well. Please give us a call. My name's James, Burton Waters Boat Sales.